From Cremo Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Automotive company Toyota South Africa's Educational Trust last month commemorated its new expanded Toyota Vessels Institute for Manufacturing Studies, or TWIMS, and Toyota Teach Facilities at its Kulov campus in KwaZulu-Natal. Tasnim Bulbulia explains. The Educational Trust is the foundation that was established by Toyota South Africa and the late Dr. Albert Vessels, who founded the company. Toyota South Africa CEO Andrew Kirby expands on the launch. So we're very pleased to be able to celebrate and commemorate the expansion of our Toyota South Africa Educational Trust facilities. It incorporates both a new facility for our Toyota Teach um, program that supports uh, developing education in, in primary schools and also our boutique business school, which is called TWIMS. And we've created new facilities, new uh, auditorium, new breakaway rooms. So it's a very positive step. Uh, it really enhances our capacity and gives us the opportunity to grow um, our, our impact. We have a new auditorium uh, that can accommodate 115 people. In fact, we'd like to expand that to about 130. That's in addition to auditorium that we have that can seat 80 people. We have additional four breakaway rooms. We've also created a new dining hall, kitchen, and we've also created a new area for Toyota Teach for their uh, staff of 20, uh, plus a science and a computer room where the mentors will bring teachers in from the schools and demonstrate to them the, the science and computer uh, aspects so we can really enhance the maths and science curriculum itself. The TWIMS campus is located in the historic Crowhurst Manor in Kluaf, KwaZulu-Natal. The first phase of TWIMS entailed buying part of the land in 2018 and converting the manor into a manufacturing campus. Kirby outlines the expansion and how this builds on this. Yeah, so when we first, first purchased um, the land, this 2.5, 2.5 uh, hectare land was available. But the intent of the owners was to develop it. And fortunately for us, they decided not to go ahead and we were able to, to purchase. So we purchased another two and a half hectares. So we've invested over 130 million in, in this facility. The first purchase in the first phase was 55 million for the Crowhurst House. Uh, it was built in the 1900s, so it has a wonderful atmosphere for academic um, learning. And We've now uh, spent another 75 million on expanding the campus, expanding the parking, um, this, this, this entire area. The facility that we purchased was, was built in, in 1900, so it has a very, um, a very nice atmosphere and design around it. But we recognised that we couldn't take that same architecture for our new expanded facility. So the new expanded facility is a lot more modern, and these sit next to each other in a, in a very nice way that, that integrates, uh, I think, very smoothly. And our students uh, will move between both facilities. Um, they're right next to each other, the breakaway rooms, the auditoriums, the eating facilities. Uh, it means that we have a much bigger campus and we can accommodate a lot more people. The development um, of this expanded campus started uh, end of last year, and we've just now opened this new facility. We still have an entertainment area that we're wanting to complete and that will be done at the end of September, uh, just where we can have breakaways and team building activities on site. And then our vision is to create some more accommodation on site. At the moment we don't have the funding for it, but we've left some space and we've done the design and we'd like to provide some on-site accommodation for visiting lecturers but also for students. Kirby provides a comprehensive overview of TWIMS and how it has progressed. The vision of TWIMS is to be a boutique business school that focuses and specialises in manufacturing. And we've partnered with uh, the Victoria University Gibbs Institute uh, where we offer accredited PG DIP and MBA classes. We also have some master classes, we also have short courses. So we have a range of focused manufacturing courses at the same time provide PG DIP and MBA qualifications and we'll expand that over time uh, as well. Now, so our vision was to try and grow manufacturing executives um, that really had a passion for uh, industrialization, entrepreneurs, uh, people who had a vision for uh, manufacturing in particular, not just in South Africa but also on the continent. 
And we, we know that by creating an institute like this, we could create the energy, the focus, the interest, the awareness in new advanced technologies for IR, for example, lean manufacturing operations, which obviously Toyota is a specialist in, uh, trade in Africa, uh, green manufacturing, because sustainability is obviously very, very important and very topical. So we've been focusing on all of those and we, we're trying to create an environment where industrialization, manufacturing can be a topic of discussion. We can even debate policy issues, but where we can really inspire people to think about what they can do uh, in South Africa. Oh, so this is a very unique course. Uh, it's the only one on the continent that focuses on manufacturing. Uh, so students get a full MBA qualification or if they just do the PG dip, but it has a focus on manufacturing. So the electives, the case studies focus on manufacturing and industrialization and it gives them insights and opportunities to also with the, the, the global exposure to visit um, top class manufacturing operations around the world. So they get to understand what is the latest thinking and how to integrate all of these different aspects to create a successful uh, manufacturing business. And hopefully it inspires people to be entrepreneurs, to start businesses or to grow businesses and create some energy and interest in manufacturing. Uh, we have a fairly small cohort of students compared to Gibbs, which is a, a large uh, business school. Uh, we have roughly 10% of the total number of students that, that graduate through, through Gibbs are, are here in Twins. And every year we've had a student win one of the top, top achiever awards, which is, which is really comforting. Uh, of the six years, we've had three that were the top student in the PG Diff course. We've had one that was the top student in the MBA course. And we've had uh, two that have won the top research um, in the final year of the MBA. So that's, that's a real accolade and on average the, the results from our twins are, are very, very high. We're very fortunate that we've established a scholarship program. So we have an endowment fund that can fund up to 15 uh, scholarships per year. And we uh, provide those to individuals that are not able to afford the full fees, uh, both for students in South Africa or, or in Africa. And um, so far, uh, we've uh, supported, I think it's 72 students uh, to a tune of 17 million rand, and we'll continue to offer these, uh, these scholarships every year to about 15 a year. Kirby also provides an overview of Toyota Teach. Toyota Teach has been going for 32 years, started in, in 1992, and uh, the vision was to try and support the development of the leadership and the teachers in primary schools, and knowing how important this is for children's futures and particularly in underdeveloped areas where the quality of the learning experience was, was compromised. And uh, over the years we've been enhancing our partnership with the different schools. We, we do roughly four schools uh, at a time and we work with the teachers, um, we support them with literature, with training materials, uh, we mentor them, we work, work with the leadership of the school itself, the head person as well as their management administration team and of course with the Department of Education and uh, we've seen some good results uh, in the children and we are also very passionate about language but also maths and science and supporting those those areas so right now we have a team of almost 20 people um, they are mentors uh, they support they go out to the schools um, on a, a weekly basis and spend time focusing on the areas where there's a gap and, and finding ways in which we can enhance their, their teaching experience so the children in turn can get a much better quality education. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News Daily Email Newsletter.